guys, let's pause for a moment of science today and talk about potential and kinetic energy. Um, if you have ever had anyone say to you, you have so much potential, it's really not a compliment. <laughs> what they are saying to you is you have so much energy built up inside, ooh, duct tape, so much energy built up inside of you, but you're not doing anything with it. You are building it up and building it up and that's it. So what I want to do is I want to explain the difference between kinetic and potential energy with you and the best way that I have to explain it um, is with a rubber band. Now, on my desk at school, I have about 5,000 rubber bands. In my house, zero. So what I'm going to use to um, teach you kinetic and potential energy is actually gonna be a hair tie. All right, here we go. So the difference between kinetic and potential energy is one is taking a deep breath in and the other is almost like exhaling and letting that breath out and letting the energy flow. So in rubber band terms, it would be like this. Potential and then kinetic would be letting it go. Now, with potential energy, you are building it up and storing it up. So, of course, if I take my rubber band, well, my hair tie, and I pull it back just a little bit, then I'm building up a small amount of potential energy. If I pull it back a little more, I am building up even more potential energy. And if I let go of it on both ends, then um, that's kinetic energy. The actual motion is kinetic energy. So it looks kind of like this. Potential, not like that. Take two. Potential, see, potential, connect. <laughs> Let's try again. Potential, kinetic. <laughs> 